A great offensive line and great running backs like Catron Allen, who's got it on first down, wiggles up the middle and picks up eight. Set to go tonight. Empty backfield on second and short for Aller. Fires over the middle. It's caught by Cephas for a first down, spinning his way across the 45. First year as a starter is that pocket presence. He said he was burning too many pockets early in the season, early in the play, and not a year ago. And if both felt like they've expanded their overall abilities at running back, especially in the passing game. Here is Allen on the hand after the loss to Michigan a couple weeks ago. Handoff. Allen. Yeah, he slipped. If he does his word, defensive coordinator Scotty Hazelton hoped he could get Penn State too. See if it's the motion man, Aller to throw. Stays in the pocket. And all three completions going to three different receivers. Cephas Johnson and Allen have all caught one. Right back to the air, swing it to the outside. And ends now. Tyler Warren and Theo Johnson in the backfield. Yeah, I like this formation. They they can do a lot of things out of that. And Johnson, the motion man. Aller, deep drop. Aller tried to tuck it, and he is dumped. Aaron Brule tracked him in the this season tonight. Start on a reverse. Alante Brown around the edge, and he slithers through for three as he goes airborne. Yep. And you cannot hold the ball long. And he won't hear. Quick strike goes to Nate Carter on the outside, and he'll dive forward. It's Carter. Evan Morris, the motion man on first down. Oh, that is sniffed out and blown up by Adisa Isaac. Diaz said, it's like your kids. You love them equally. Whoever gets to the quarterback first, you're great. Robinson coming in on second and 13. Hauser hit as he threw. Spelling Carter. Foster, the motion man. They swing it out to him and let him turn up the yards. Isaac catches up from behind. Just devastated when he heard he couldn't play with him. Swing it. And it's Tyrell Henry who's not going to pick up much, maybe two yards, as Kevin Winston Jr. Seen a lot of Catron Allen so far, and he's got it on second down and ten. Turns up the middle. Allen turns on the speed deep in the field. Play action. A strike right back to Cephas. Aller is on target for a first down. He just kind of leaned back in his stance a little bit. Chris Bogle lined up across from him. Again, these two tight ends, Tyler Warren and Theo Johnson. The bottom of your screen, he's dangerous and has gotten better as a receiver this year. Second 11, screen pass. Goal from Alex Felkins. Now on first down, Hauser back to the air. Lost one towards the sideline. Malik Carr can't bring it in. Carr had 119 yards last week. And the game-winning touchdown, Nate Carter to the outside. Finds a hole. Mack and J.D. Duplain, who have meant so much to this Spartan program. First and 10 from the 16-yard line. Handoff goes to Singleton, and he will fit. Singleton. Finding that hole. And Barrett as well this season. Johnson, the motion man. Aller looking that way. Now he escapes. Aller lofts it. Short. He was in the direction. Getting this part of the field. Came in last week. He'll hand it off for Singleton up the middle, and he couldn't escape. Shoestring tackle maybe saves the touchdown. Simeon. Way at all yet. Johnson in motion. Aller feeling the pressure. He goes down. Jordan Hall. The and I think they have a much better understanding of that in year two. The movement on this first Ball play. Start. Offense number 74. Who's third? Well, yeah, that's the Iowa Hawkeyes continuing to do what they've done for years. As Hauser delivers, it is Malik Carr, and it'll get back just a yard shout. It's an advantage, but when he's one on one, it's tough. Hauser tucks it, runs it, and he doesn't get very far. Leveled by Kobe King as we go downstairs to KT for five. 57 yard punt, three yard return as Curtis Jacobs playing in maybe his final game at Penn State comes up with another big. They could stretch the field. Singleton will run it and tiptoe his way for two. Now they did have the two tight ends catch 55 yes. balls combined. Second and eight for Allen. Swing it out, Singleton. Jimmy Shake, five. Aller with the blitz, swing it. Theo Johnson, another catch for two more as we go back down to KT. Kayshawn Allen told me this week that he and Nick Singleton are on campus as that pass completion will set up second down and seven. And now it is Singleton around the edge. Sing on a defense. Now Allen's in there, play action, bootleg. Aller on the run, and he's got it on target to his guy, Khalil Dinkins, the third last eight attempts. Patron Allen, and he gets converged after he gains three. Singleton, 
following his blocker. Singleton stayed on his feet. And he will be down just shy of the goal line. First and goal. Aller handoff. Allen met in the backfield. Lost the yard. They were inside the one. Play action. Aller rolling. Aller looking, firing. Incomplete. A little bit low for Theo Johnson. Good field. Aller looking, finding Allen wide open. He walks in for the title. Gingerly made his way back to the sideline, upset with himself. As Falcons will add the extra point and extend this to a 13-0 Penn State. 12 here in the first half. Meanwhile, it's been back-to-back -back three and outs for Michigan State, and this is a much better start to this drive. And staying on his 42 consecutive games at left guard is now at center with the injured Nick Samak out as Hauser just has to get rid of it, and it's incomplete. A lot of contact. Two touchdowns, including that game winner. This one, the 29-yard reception, sets up first and 10, and this is going to be difficult. Alante Brown just has to get rid of it, and He's not only it, that, there's no 24 now just outside of field goal range as well. Play action, set up the screen from Malik Carr, and this time they wrap him up. Continue to weigh it all yet. Johnson in motion, Aller feeling the pressure, he goes down! Jordan Hall, the and I think they have a much better understanding of that in year two. The movement on this first Ball play. Start. Offense, number 74. Who's third? Well, yeah, that's the Iowa Hawkeyes continuing to do what they've done for years. As Hauser delivers, it is Malik Carr, and it'll get back just a yard shot. It's an advantage, but when he's one-on-one, -on -one, it's tough. Hauser tucks it, runs it, and he doesn't get very far. Leveled by Kobe King as we go downstairs to KT for five. 57-yard punt, three-yard return as Curtis Jacobs playing in maybe his final game at Penn State comes up with another big... They could stretch the field. Singleton will run it and tiptoe his way for two. Now, they did have the two tight ends catch 55 yes. balls combined. Second and eight for Allen. Swing it out. Singleton. Jimmy Shake, five. Aller with the blitz. Swing it. Theo Johnson, another catch for two more as we go back down to KT. K. Sean Allen told me this week that he and Nick Singleton are on campus as that pass completion will set up second down and seven and now it is singleton around the edge Sing on a defense now allen's in there play action bootleg aller on the run and he's got it on target to his guy khalil dinkins the third last eight attempts patron allen and he gets converged after he gains three singleton following his blocker singleton stayed on his feet and he will be down just shy of the goal line. First and goal. Aller, handoff. Allen met in the backfield. Lost the yard. They were inside the one. Play action. Aller rolling. Aller looking, firing. Incomplete. A little bit low for Theo Johnson. Good field. Aller looking. Finding Allen wide open. He walks in for the title. Gingerly made his way back to the sideline, upset with himself. As Falcons will add the extra point and extend this to a 13-0 Penn State. 12 here in the first half. Meanwhile, it's been back-to-back -back three and outs for Michigan State. And this is a much better start to this drive. And staying on his 42 consecutive games at left guard is now at center with the injured Nick Samak out as Hauser just has to get rid of it. And it's incomplete. A lot of contact. Two touchdowns, including that game winner. This one, the 29-yard reception, sets up first and 10. And this is going to be difficult. Alante Brown just has to get rid of it. And He's not only it, that, there's no 24 now just outside of field goal range as well. Play action. Set up the screen from Malik Carr. And this time they wrap him up. Continue to.